On September 2nd, 2020, David Blaine has scheduled what he calls the most ambitious performance of his life. Even though this seems like every kid's dream, Ascension is the most ambitious performance of my life. Of everything I've ever done, Ascension is by far my favorite. He calls it Ascension. Speaking about, quote, Ascension, Blaine said, I'm hoping to be able to push this beyond anything that I've ever done before. Set a reminder to be the first to know when I ascend. August 30th, 2020, quote, I'm hoping to ascend in a few days. The feast day of Jesus' ascension is one of the holiest days in the Christian calendar. Jesus' bodily ascension into heaven is professed by Catholics each time they say the Apostles' Creed. In Acts chapter 1, verses 9 and 10, the ascension is described as when Jesus was taken up and a cloud hid him so that the people could no longer see him. Blaine says his goal in ascension is to float up into the sky until he vanishes. I want to disappear, like I actually want the visual to be that I disappear into the sky. I would go floating all the way up and disappear into the sky legitimately. Notice how this promotional has religious themed music clouds and the large title, quote, Ascension. Blaine didn't need to call his event Ascension. He could have called it above the clouds or into the sky. Since Blaine is a false Christ, however, he calls it Ascension. So the new one that I'm working on, it's called Ascension. And the goal is I want to take a bunch of balloons and just float up into the sky until I vanish. In this clip, notice that Blaine puts his arms out like he is Christ being crucified. Blaine uses words to describe his, quote, miracles that have been used to describe real miracles of God. Quote, for those who believe no explanation is necessary, for those who do not, none will suffice. The following information on David Blaine is taken from my video, Magicians Prove a Spiritual World Exists. Famous American magician David Blaine's interest in magic began at the age of four when he was given an occult tarot card deck. Blaine talks about this deck in his book, Mysterious Stranger, quote, My grandmother had given my mother an amazing deck of tarot cards. I played with those cards wherever I was. Here is a picture of a tarot card from a deck that Blaine describes as, quote, beautiful in his book, Mysterious Stranger. Tarot cards are representations of occult teachings with pictures. Magic is all I wanted to do since I was a little kid. That was my only dream. Yeah, and, and, you, know, you know all the different cards in the deck. Right. And, okay, so what you'll do is touch one, but do not, do not let me see it. So just, yeah, so just... So just t pull it out or just touch? Touch one, touch one, all right. whatever you okay. want. Which one? This one? This one. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you want to check? Is that the one? Yeah. Okay. Should we show it to the camera? Oh, okay, yeah, good Good idea. And you can't good. see, I mean, clearly there's nothing good. there. There's okay, no well, here, let's, let's use your card. Let me just rip a... Rip a little piece off. Okay. Hold this. Nothing up my sleeve, just seeing the pieces. Okay. It's gone. What? Well, where did that... <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Can I go in through here? Yeah, yeah, where... sure. So where, where did you get... All right. Okay, can you... Well, where is it? You now? could have had any card and we just ripped a little piece off. Right, right. Um, Maybe reach into your, reach into your pocket. Yeah, go ahead, reach into your far pocket. No, the far, the, far, far. Oh, yeah, you good. This one? Sure. Just as far away. And tell me if there's. Wait a minute. Are you serious? All the way in the bottom. What? How did you? How did you pull? And check it? if it's the right piece. Make sure it fits exactly. Maybe yeah, let them it, see as well. Yeah, it fits. It's it fits, a piece that we it just. It fits perfectly. Well, how did you? You didn't tie. <laughs> Well, now you freaked me out. You didn't touch me at all. I... And you can see all the, you know, all the different cards in the deck. I don't mm -hmm. know if you can all see them. Looks like a regular deck. Good. And out of all the cards, just take, touch one. Take one out. Okay. Whichever. That uh, one. Yeah. Okay. Look at it. Okay. You want to let them see it as well? Okay. You there know, I can see in the camera. Oh, you can. <laughs> all right. I ruined the trick. 
Do you know why you chose that? Because uh, you forced it on me? I don't know. No, no. When I gave her the Sharpie and I showed it to you? Yeah. Um, just start. Rub the logo. Look at the logo. Oh! <laughs> no, look at that. We see what it says. Seven of spades. What? David Blaine has levitated and performed many, quote, miracles on the streets of numerous cities. Eliminate another suit, not the suit of your card. Eliminate another one. Club. Club? Eliminated. Look, I'm going to show you that I'm not kidding. Yours is a diamond? Eliminated. Watch. First, I get rid of the spades because you said those first. See how they start to just disappear? Then I get rid of the clubs. See how they start to disappear? Then I get rid of all the diamonds. Mm -hmm. See, the whole deck disappears, all except for mm. what's left, the hearts plus your card. Oops, so no, sign it. Sign, sign it. it. Yeah, yeah, put a signature on it, like a real signature, so I can't copy that. Great. OK. It's good? I'm shaking. Now, hold on. Now, to make sure I, look, to make sure I don't cheat, okay. can you hold my wrist? You can hold it, yeah. All right. See, now, now I can't do any sleight of hand. Okay. So I take your card, yeah. and I place it, give or take, about middle, okay? Name a suit other than the suit of your card to eliminate. So not diamonds. Hearts. Hearts? Yeah. Okay, so look, if I squeeze the deck, see how I make the cards start to just disappear? See how the whole deck starts to vanish? Oh, you, Mac. See, every, <laughs> everything disappears except for hearts because it's the card that you signed. <laughs> and you can keep the... Are you kidding me? Here's the idea. Watch close. If I squeeze the deck, Jimmy, mm -hmm. see I make the cards start to vanish. See how all the cards start to just disappear? <laughs> see, everything disappears except for hearts because that's what she thought of and of course... In his book, Mysterious Stranger, Blaine talks about a magic act he performed when he took a homeless man's cup of coffee. Blaine described the event, quote, Holding it in both my hands, I muttered some weird incantations, and the coffee in the cup turned into coins. Oh! oh. How did you do that oh. one? Oh, guys. That's... Oh, that's your magic. <laughs> While visiting a prison in Louisiana, Blaine approached the prison door and bent the prison bars. You ready? <laughs> There's no way you can bend them bars. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> I've been here 25 years. I think he's been in like Three years. 33 years. Never seen the bars. Never seen the bars, bitch. I mean, we actually saw him getting the bars with his hand. I seen you bend that ball like, like that. I ain't never seen that happen. You been up here all the time? I come for this shit. Incredible hole. No problem at all. How? <laughs> How? Oh. Oh. I seen something amazing. With old TV, I ain't think that was real. I see it real now though. I don't finally see where you at. David Blaine, he real. In this clip, Blaine takes a lady's watch off her hand. Four, five, five, six, seven, eight, 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 I wanted to do something with the jewelry store always. <laughs> it's closed, so we can't. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, to imagine, what would it be like if I could steal the, the stuff from the ship? <laughs> he then tells the lady to look at the display case. She looks closely and sees that it is her watch. She realizes that the watch is no longer on her hand. <laughs> Is that really your watch? Uh, yes, <laughs> Blaine then puts his hand through the window to grab the watch that had been on her hand. Here, come closer, come closer, come closer. Look, watch this. If I reach like this, see that? I reach through the window, see that? He then moves his hand back through the window without any damage to the window or his hand. It's my watch. The newspaper has a hole. Look. Well, look, the newspaper has a hole. Well, look, the window does. I don't get it. Amazing. See my hand? Amazing. I did. I did. That's so cool. And this is your one. It's For real, right? <laughs> Blaine also promotes voodoo magic. And you remember the guys that used to do the voodoo? You might want to come in closer. Yeah. Can you see this string? 
Look, I learned this in Haiti, actually. It's a voodoo thing. Yeah, magic has existed for thousands and thousands of years. Court jesters used to do it, shamans would perform it. In Haiti, magic and voodoo are considered the same thing. David Blaine, mysterious stranger, quote, on our first night in Haiti, Abujo had arranged for us to film a voodoo ceremony. By the time the voodoo ceremony started, the temperature in that room had to be at least 120 degrees. Then I saw the human skulls and the full skeleton. The ceremony began and it was the most intense experience I'd ever had in my life. The heat, the music, the chanting, the stench of decaying flesh, it was otherworldly. People got up and drank some kind of potion and all of a sudden their eyes rolled back in their head. They broke into some weird ecstatic dance and then they fell down in a trance. David Blaine quotes, Sometimes I'll pull a hair out of my head and place it on the drawing of my hand before the match is lit. It's a convincing touch for someone who believes in voodoo. In October 2017, Blaine did magic in Vienna for Peter Thiel's same-sex quote marriage to his quote boyfriend. After he emerged from being buried alive underground for a week in 1999, Blaine told the crowd quote, I saw something very prophetic, a vision of every race, every religion, every age group banding together and that made all of this worthwhile. To promote different religions banding together is complete apostasy from God. Here is Blaine's promotional poster for this event. Notice that the underground looks like hell. Here is a Blaine promotional poster for his act of being trapped in a solid block of ice for three days. Notice how Blaine embedded a skull on his platform. Also notice the image of a demon or a soul in hell reaching out toward Blaine. There are also demonic faces right around his head. Here are some posters from another major event of Blaine. Notice the presence of demons. In 2002, Blaine stood atop a 100-foot pillar in the New York City area. The area for him to stand was less than two feet wide. He stood there for 35 hours straight with no safety net. I'm surprised he doesn't have a safety net on the bottom just in case he falls. The wind blows or rain or something, there's nothing down there. He completed the act wearing a hoodie with a dragon prominently featured on the front. Apocalypse 12 verse 9 quote, And that great dragon was cast out, that old serpent who is called the devil and Satan who seduces the whole world. Let me try this. Let me, can I take this hat? You have something I can use as well? That's Just anything. Way. Like, not a hat. Because what's that mean? Satine? Give me something to take, though. Something to grab with. Something just so I could take like this. Look, watch. Look, look, look. If you reach in, right, make you pretend. Pretend you're reaching into the hat. Bison. No, no, but look, I make it seem like a snake. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Apocalypse 20 verse 2, quote, The dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. It's just something I'd always wanted to do, which is part of an effect where you become a, it looks like a human dragon. Throughout his book, Mysterious Stranger Blaine features pictures of dragons on the sides of the pages. He also features a picture of the devil or a demon in agony surrounded by flames many times in his book. He never explains why he is promoting this picture. On the title page for chapter 8 of his book, Blaine has a picture of himself. Look at the shadow. The shadow for Blaine has horns on its head. Blaine is clearly telling us that he is of the devil. Blaine has the look of demonic possession, a dark figure who in his own words produces works that are dark. Uh, I'm doing a one-man show in New York which is a, an off-Broadway show that's going to be very dark and different than anything. Jesus says that those who are evil love darkness, walk in darkness, and are of the power of darkness. St. Paul also repeatedly describes the devil's power as that of darkness. Now watch, ready?
Are you an illusionist? Are you a trickster? Uh, what is it? Are you a stuntman? What are you? How would you describe yourself? I'm just a showman. In one interview, Blaine flashed the Eye of Horus marked on his hand. He said that it's his protection from death. Is this part of the show, this stare and the eyes and all that sort of thing? The eye and the hand. And what is that? What, what is the eye and the hand? Let's see that again. It's protection. Protection. What does that mean? Protection from death. Oh. Horus is an Egyptian false god that was worshipped by the Satanist Alistair Crowley. Crowley called himself the Beast 666 and was deeply involved in magic. The Eye of Horus was regarded by Crowley as the symbol of Satan. Crowley describes Satan as, quote, the Eye. Many magicians promote, feature, and mark themselves with the Eye of Horus, the mark of the devil. Also, take a close look at the pentagram, the five-pointed star used by Crowley. This pentagram, along with the inverted pentagram, are both symbols used by Satanists and witches. Here's a regular pentagram featured on a statue recently displayed by Satanists. 